We don't know what the special counsel has in store when it comes to allegations of Russian collusion. Some members of the mainstream media seemed really excited when the initial news of the indictments seemed to be a big problem for the president. But then when the deputy attorney general came out for that news conference and poured cold water on the idea that it actually impacted the election, the media seemed to turn. We have this piece of it, lots of new detail, but we don't have the full scope, uh, so it's unclear how Rosenstein can say that. Unclear to me how he feels like he can draw that conclusion right. based on this kind of, of interference, but that's certainly something that's going to resonate with the president because he has viewed these Russia investigations as a way to undermine his victory from day one. So, for more, let's bring in co-host co of the five, Juan Williams, and editorial director of The Daily Caller. Vince Colonnese. Good to see you both, Juan. It seemed like a lot of your buddies in the media were dying for the Deputy Attorney General to come out and say, the president did it, there was collusion, and this means every, everything's going down. Instead, the Deputy Attorney General said, this didn't impact the election. Well, first of all, the documents, what was presented by the special counsel, did not, would not have substantiated uh, anybody on the left saying, oh, there's evidence of collusion here. There's, there's no such evidence in this indictment. Mm -hmm. What we have is an indictment of Russians for interfering in the election. Mm -hmm. And on that basis, I think the left can say legitimately that President Trump, who has said that nothing happened, fake news, it's a hoax, it's just being perpetrated by people who want to delegitimize my election, mm -hmm. uh, clearly is wrong. We now have the intelligence community and the special counsel say the Russians interfered in the 2016 election. This, so, that's, I'm sorry, but that's the centerpiece, I think, of sort of an, uh, an intellectually dishonest take that the press has had at large today, which is there's no distinction between the way the president treats the notion of a hoax, right? The, he said hoax. What he's referring to and what he has referred to consistently is the notion that they are the reason he won the election and that he colluded. He, he's alleged throughout all of this that that's a hoax. Russia's involvement? He and the White House have accepted that multiple times I don't but think since so. the intelligence community. But assessment. hang on, Vince. When Vladimir Putin told the president yeah. face to face, I didn't interfere. The president came out and told the press. President Trump said, "I take him at his word." He, he well, he and I can't. I don't have the, the verbiage in front of me. But even but reading you know that language, even reading that language, you're right. No, there's no reason for him to wander on things like this. But the White House at this point and the president have said multiple times since his election that they believe Russia was involved in 2016. And look at Adam Schiff, his statement today. He says, and Adam Schiff has been a fierce critic of the president, a Democrat, who says, quote, the indictment leaves open the vital question of whether Americans, including any associated with the Trump campaign, knowingly played a role in Russia's active measures campaign. It leaves that wide open. Wide. I Meaning, agree. Yes, Robert Mueller could still come out with more. Obviously, the investigation. But not open, now. But not in this. Yet. No. So not in this document. Now, I think we also have another point. Vince and I are certainly going to clash on this, which is, when you hear Rod Rosenstein say it didn't influence the outcome of the election, mm -hmm. my, to my mind, he's saying, well, there's no clear indication that they were able to get involved with machinery, the voting machines, mm -hmm. or yeah. to interfere with the voter rolls. The results. But propaganda has tremendous impact How on How much, the though? I had opinion. people sending me notes on social media today saying, if, you, if your vote in this election, Vince, was decided by a post on Facebook, Basically, you're an idiot. I mean, don't, I mean, shouldn't you make up your own mind? Is a Facebook post by the Russians or anyone else really going to turn your vote? And, no, because here's why. Because this, because sociologists who've actually taken some time to look at this since the election, the, the, right. the, that investigation notwithstanding, the New York Times published this very week, on February 13th of this week, declared that there was little impact on the election of this type of conversation. Juan, I want to make another point, which is that you believe the president of the United States should do something about Russian interference in an American election, right? Well, big time, because we're coming up on the midterms. And, right. And all indications we heard from not only uh, Christopher Wray, but we've heard from the director of national intelligence, uh, Dan Coates, uh -huh. that the Russians not only are continuing right now, sure. but they plan to, in fact, increase, that they are, we are at cyber war, so, un under attack, cyber warfare attack from the Russians. Right. But my point is, I wanted to lead you into... Okay. An American president, this president, you want him to do something. Why didn't the last American president, according to this indictment, it started in 2014 under Barack Obama? What did they do? You know, I don't think they did enough. And I, I'm not the only one. I think you, if you had a group of Democrats, left wing, especially people who were involved in the Hillary mm -hmm. Clinton campaign, they'd be very damning of the lack of action taken by the Obama folks. But now the Obama team says they couldn't do more without appearing 
to be taking but sides in the fine election. Work. But the Clinton campaign has its own problems on its hand because it has Russian informants animating an opposition research document. Oh, come on. That was handed over to the government and used as a pretext. Well, hang on. You don't want foreign citizen. influence in an election, but it's okay for Christopher Steele to come up with a dossier. Christopher Steele is working for an American, American company. He's a British. He's working British for an American company, Fusion GPS. Uh -huh. And doing research. Whose that money? was it. Whose money did he well, get? Well, first it was conservative money. No. And it then wasn't. it was. Right. Yes, it was. Christopher never got money for I, No, but I'm saying that they. Fusion GPS was given money to create a dossier on Donald Trump by conservatives and then later by the yes. Clinton Guys, campaign. We're just getting fired up. We've got a whole <laughs> yeah, hour. Yeah, the two of us could light up Friday In night. In the meantime, you two have a good week.